the, uh, but it was just, Ellie, it was just so nice to see those people. Um, can I just say, you've never been more wrong on politics in your life. I'm going to play a montage of you being so wrong about Donald Trump. Let's roll the tape. I have one thing to say, one thing only, and that is that this race is over. Trump has no place to go. This race, effectively, as of tonight, is no longer a presidential race. This race is over. You might as well accept it. And the question now is, how do you minimize damage? But as far as Donald Trump's concerned, it will never, ever, ever happen. Remind me I said this. You can run this tape. She will crush him. I mean, she could crush him from jail. Remind me I said this. Run the tape. She will crush him. She'll crush him from jail. That's what he said. Did she get there yet? <laughs> no, she didn't get there. Are you saying that I'm right? She belongs there too? No, 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 no. Why didn't you see this coming? You're smart. I tell you, I, uh, I don't think I analyzed the race closer than I did this one. And I don't think I've ever been as wrong as I've been on this one. Uh, I'm usually right. Uh, and uh, the uh, reason for it was that I happened to look just by chance at Cherokee County, North Carolina. And I'm in North Carolina real well. I've done all the races down there. And all of a sudden, that was a, that's just a county, rural county, that went 55-45 Republican Democrats. Right. Trump was beating her 85-15. So I went around to other rural counties, and I realized that Democrats just didn't pay any attention to them. You know how I know? Because I was out on the road with them. And I've been doing this, as you have been doing this, for a pretty long time. And I saw for my, with my own eyes the passion the lines at 6 in the morning for a 7 p.m. rally were massive. It reminds